All right, so this is for people who are new to TrueNAS, and I guess maybe people who are old to TrueNAS and are on version 13. Long story short, just stick with version 12 for now because you're going to run into a lot less problems. So I chose version 13 because when they say beta, I thought they meant that, you know, the old stuff would still work, but the new stuff wouldn't work. But now I found out that the old stuff still doesn't, old stuff doesn't work. Anyways, uh, yeah, so for people trying to make, like me, trying to make a VM, here we have me creating a brand new VM, uh, Linux based Ubuntu 18. I followed the tutorial and it worked fine for the person in the video, uh, but let's just see what happens and hit submit. Here we're supposed to hit start and just use VNC to view the, the VM, the newly created VM. And we get this page right here, fail to connect the server. And yeah, no matter what you do, you won't get a connection. But I've tried reinstalling, changing memory, change the core count, change the thread count, change the version, Ubuntu 20, Ubuntu 22. Yeah, so then I, I was looking in the forums, which is a great place to search, thankfully. And I found this person having the same problem. But this year also links to this uh, ticket, which they were able to isolate the problem. Or at least not a problem, but a workaround at least. Problem is that the VNC port needs to be set the specific number. And there's no way that I was going to figure this out by myself. Because these ports are generated randomly. And they're all in like the tens of thousands. While you have to change it to 5900. So you can either do this when you're creating it. Or after you already created it. You go to devices and you go to VNC, click the three dots, and you edit. And you can specify a point number here. Uh, where is it? Here, here, up here. 5900. And then save. Let me go back. And then we click here. Uh, this should work, hopefully. Just kidding. And that's funny. Why didn't it work? Oh, turn it on and off again. Sorry. Power off. Uh, power on. Okay, this should work. There we go. Uh, but yeah, that's all for this one. I've been digging in the true NAS recently, and it's been all only headaches so far. So that's, you know, expect more expect more true NAS content while I'm figuring out all the all the bugs, because this is very not user friendly for beginners at least. And yeah, uh, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.